Hello 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 everyone. In this video we are going to take a look at the installation and setup of an Amazon Fire TV stick, in this case the 4K Max. First of all let's look at the contents of the box. We have on one side the power adapter to power the device. We have the micro USB cable to be able to connect it to the mains, as I said before. We find two batteries for the controller along with the instructions. To finish off we have the remote control, which as you can see is very small, then we see a little in detail, do not worry. We continue with what is the Fire TV stick itself, the device that is connected to the television. And finally an HDMI extension cable in case it is necessary to make the connection on our TV. As you can see the remote is quite small and quite light, it is handled quite easily. At the top we have the on, off button of the device along with the Alexa button. We continue with the directional wheel that will serve us to move through the menus and in the center of that will we have another button that is not appreciated, but good is the OK selection button. Below we have more control buttons, in this case back, home, play or pause, mute or volume up and down. And to finish we have four shortcuts, in this case of four applications that we will normally use and that are Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus and Amazon Music. On the other hand we have the device itself, the Fire TV stick which is the one you are seeing right now. In this case here we only have two connections, one input which is micro USB to power it with the cable that we have seen before and on the other hand we have a male HDMI connection to connect it to the TV. In this case we could use here the hose in case our television does not fit the Fire TV stick, we cannot put it for some reason or because it is too tight or whatever, because we have this HDMI extension that gets very easy, it is very simple and which can allow us to more easily put the fire stick on our television. The first thing that I want to comment before beginning with the initial configuration of the fire stick is that in a first instance I have connected it without the network adapter, I have connected it directly to the USB of the TV, it means that I have not used the adapter. Later we will see what happens, do not worry, but so that you know it by the screen that is going to appear in a few moments. To begin with the configuration of the Fire Stick the first thing that is asked us is to configure the remote control. For it what it puts us there is that we press the home button of the remote control for 10 seconds, so we do it. Once this is done it recognizes the remote control and we press the play button to start, to begin. Here we select our language, in this case I am going to select Spanish, everyone can select the one they want. And attentive because next you are seeing the message that has appeared to me because I have connected the fire stick directly to the USB of the TV without the network adapter, where it tells us that the USB port is incompatible and that it is not giving enough power. Let's use the USB cable and the included power adapter. Although it says below that we can continue without the power adapter, don't do it. I've been testing, I've been trying and the message keeps popping up. It is a constant incompatible, incompatible, incompatible USB port. I don't doubt that maybe it can work but it doesn't work right, it doesn't give you the correct operation. So, as I have done, you connect the Fire Stick TV with the built-in network adapter. Use a power plug and connect it to the mains. The next step will be to connect to a Wi-Fi network. In this case, well I'm going to select my home network, set the password and connect. And once I establish the Wi-Fi connection, what the device is going to do directly is just check for updates. So in this step, we let it do its reboots until it lets us get back into action. Once it finishes the updates, in the next step, it will ask us to identify ourselves with our Amazon account. If we do not have an Amazon account, we can create one, but in my case, for example, as I have Amazon Prime and I already have an Amazon account, I will register with my own account. To do this we click on Identify. On this screen it will give us two options, Identify us online or Identify us with the QR code. For me it is easier to identify ourselves online, which is what I am going to do. Anyway, I also want to show you the bottom part where it says press the three lines to identify yourself with the remote control. If we press it, what it does is to pass to another screen in which we can put our data manually, the mail and the password. But well, in this case, I am going to put to identify online. As you can see, you have to enter this web page, amazon.es code, Enter your account and your password on this web page and then here you will see the code that you have to enter. 
As you can see, now I'm going to show you the screen on the computer where it appears that you have to enter the code. We enter that code and it's super simple, because it does everything by itself, it registers, signs up and everything. And once we have done everything with the computer, we get the message that your registration has been completed and as you can see the fire stick is already doing things by itself. Right now it is already discharged, asks us if we want to register the account, we give in my case then to continue, then asks us if we want to save the Wi-Fi password. Then we save it too and after a few settings, among other things the remote control for example, which is what you are seeing now, we go to a section where it tells us that it is going to play music. This is to check if the controller is working properly. What it is going to do now is to play a sound from the television, I am going to be quiet now so that you can listen to it. And with what you are going to see now the remote has been synchronized directly and we can control the volume of the TV and therefore the volume of the fire stick also with the remote of the fire stick. This allows you to raise and lower the volume of the TV directly with the fire stick remote control. Once we check that the volume goes up and down perfectly, we give yes and it says that the remote has been configured correctly. Now comes the moment to choose the applications that we want to have installed on our fire stick. In this case this is totally personal, in my case I have selected YouTube, Disney+, Netflix and Twitch. Once we have selected them we click on finish. The next thing that tells us is if we want to put parental control, because in this case I am not going to put parental control. Here we are given a series of instructions or guidelines or aspects of the Fire TV, we give it to understood and continue. Now we select with which profile we want to log in the Fire TV. As you can see below we are already getting updates of the applications and once we have it clear, we enter the profile and we have the main menu of the Fire TV stick. The operation of the Fire stick is very simple, the truth is that it is very basic. From the main screen which is the one we have here. On the left we have the profile selection to select another profile if we would like to change it. Then we have the magnifying glass to search. To make a search. In this case from here we can search for applications as well as movies or series. Then we have the home section which is nothing more than the main page, it is like the home where there is a collection of movies, series, and so on that we can see. We continue with the live section where we will recommend different applications where we can watch live content and finally we have the section my space where we will see the watch list that we have configured in our prime video. In the line on the right we have the applications that we have previously installed, they will appear there on the main screen. With the three little squares on the right we can access the summary of all our applications and now to finish with the gear wheel on the right we can enter the settings and from here we can change all kinds of settings for the fire stick. Add Bluetooth devices, control the equipment, add things with Alexa, preferences, applications, screen and sound. From here we can configure many things on the device. Well guys so much for today's video, with this we have seen the installation and configuration of an Amazon Fire Stick device. As always if the video has been useful do not forget to leave me a like that is super important as well as subscribe to the channel and give the little bell to not miss anything. I for my part nothing more, as always a pleasure and until the next video.